Welcome to the Geeks Attic. This is an Expanded Universe book review of Star Wars The Truce at Bakura. Star Wars The Truce at Bakura was written by best-selling author Kathy Tears. Now, this tale takes place during the Rebellion era on the Legends novel timeline, four years ABY, or after the Battle of Yavin. Now, let's get into a brief summary before I get into my overall thoughts. The Rebel Alliance intercepts a message that was intended for the Empire. The Imperial Governor of the Bakura system is requesting that the Empire send more stormtroopers as Bakura is under attack by an alien invasion force from outside Imperial territory. The Rebellion, fresh off their victory over Endor, which resulted in the destruction of the second Death Star, Darth Vader, and Emperor Palpatine, head to the Bakura system. Once there, they offer a truce to help the remnants of the Empire fight off the attackers. These invaders are harvesting life forms to use them as an energy source to fuel their own weapons. And among the chaos, Luke Skywalker senses another Force user in the Bakura system. There's peace, there's war, there's chaos. Let's get into my overall thoughts. This is a pretty neat story, and I love the timing in which the tale takes place as well. The day after the Emperor and Vader are destroyed. Witnessing the structure of the Imperial fleet cripple at the news of the fallen leadership was very entertaining. In this novel, things go from bad to worse for the Empire, especially for those stationed on Bakura. The shock of the Emperor being dead, that no help will be coming to assist them. They must rely on the Rebellion to fight their new battle. And especially when they find out that the Shi Rook, which are like the villain of this story, were actually invited into their galactic territory by the fallen Emperor himself. I like that we have this outside force making its way into the galaxy with a goal of conquering. The disturbing means in which they intend to do so was creative and terrifying. But I do not like the way that these beings were described. The Sea Rook or She Rook, whatever. They're dinosaur-like. There's artist depictions of them online. They're silly looking. They're dinosaurs with tongues coming out of the nostrils. However, the technologically advanced aliens have some impressive tools of war, and I love that the author brings the Rebels and the Empire together in the Bakur system in an attempt to defeat these outsiders. I was excited with the addition of a new Force user, but I was a little disappointed with the development of the character. I think the author created this uh, Force user to be a little bit too powerful. He was able to sense Luke, able to sense the death of the Emperor from the far reaches of the galaxy. I thought that was just a little bit too much. Despite the too powerful and the Force flaw, the author did a fantastic job fleshing out this character and all of the others involved. Do I recommend that you pick up and read Star Wars The Truce at Bakura? Yes, it's an exciting tale of unity, betrayal, and wonderful characters. So for the rating, I am going to give this Expanded Universe novel a B+. That's going to do it for this review. Check me out at thegeeksaddict.com and across all social media. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe so you'll be notified when I post more reviews. Have a good one.